In this short video that you're about to watch, you will see some of my best practices to run great and effective meetings. Since meetings are so expensive, right, and can be energy draining and, you know, they can be a mess. What are some of the things that we can do to make sure that we organize great meetings moving forward? Having a clear agenda, who is going to be presenting and what, for how long, and what is the purpose? And obviously, before the meeting, prepare. Don't go there to improvise. Just get together for a few minutes, maybe the day before, simply to make sure that everything is fine, that you're ready. Or maybe you don't even need to get together. It's just a quick chat of like, we're all ready to go. Yep, 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 yep. Awesome. You're ready to go. If you can, send the materials before. That is great, especially for meetings when you're expecting people to approve or to give you feedback. If they have some time to prepare, they will for sure add more value. If that was before the meeting, what happens during the meeting? Starting on time not only is respectful towards your time and everybody else's time and energy, but it also creates a great discipline. There are people that tend to always be late and because they know that people are waiting for them, they continue to be late. So starting always on time will make sure that everybody knows that when you are running the meeting, nobody gets to be late. Another great practice is to indicate to everyone when do you want to receive questions or comments. So they will know, okay, I need to take notes and ask at the end, or they will wait till one section is finished, or even if you want to use the chat room, just make sure to indicate how you want the meeting to be conducted and how you want people to interact with those who are presenting. Use a parking lot. And obviously, I don't refer to a parking lot for your car, I refer a parking lot for ideas. If you see that the conversation is actually getting interesting, but it's going into a different direction, just raise your hand and say like, hey guys, this is great. However, this is just going way out of our agenda. Take this topic offline. I'll be the one arranging that meeting. One last thing, time. So what is the right time for a meeting? I do not recommend more than 30 minutes on average. There will be different types of meetings and different type of time allocations that you will need, but probably something that you've noticed, you were okay to focus for like maybe 30 minutes really, really well, and then you probably, you know, drift away. So that is why a 30 minute meeting is a great reference for you to have. This is, by the way, just the tip of the iceberg. If you were to subscribe to my course on time management, you would learn that actually the most important thing about time management, it is not time management. It's actually energy and distraction management. Come on, subscribe to the course.